Okay, so we have this vague notion of composition of function where we take an output of a function and use it as an input for another function. And I want to take a look at some more examples with the same function we had before. Okay, so I have f of x equal 3x minus 2 and g of x equal x squared plus x plus 1. So um, let's try f composed of itself, evaluated at 2. What does this mean? It means that it's the same thing as saying it's f of f of 2. So first thing first, I have to compute f of 2. And once I have f of 2, I compute it back to function f. So let's compute f of 2 first. So I see f of 2. Whenever I see an x in a function f, I replace it with 2. So, um, so I see 3 times 2 minus 2. So 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2 is 4. So f of 2 is equal 4. So I have f of 2 is 4. And now I'm going to take that 4 and compute it back into f. So now I want to know what is f of 4. So f of 4 is equal to 3 times 4 minus 2. Remember, we, we compute it back to function f, so we're going to use a function f. Okay. So 3 times 4 is 12 minus 2, that's 10. So f, composite f, evaluated at 2, is equal 10. So 10. We box that up. Okay. What about we evaluate G composed with G at 2? Same thing, right? It is to be understood at G of G of 2. You know, let me use blue. I want to be consistent. So this is G of G of 2. Again, first we are going to compute what is g of 2. So g of 2. So I'll go back up to my function g. Whenever I see an x in my function g, I replace it with 2. So 2 squared plus, x, oh, plus 2. There's no more x because I replace x with 2. Plus 1. So 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So g of 2 is 7. G of 2, that is 7. And now, so once I have 7, I'm going to plug it back into function g again. So g of 7 equal to 7 squared plus 7 plus 1. 49 plus 7 is 56. 56 plus 1 is 57. 49 plus, 49 plus 7 is 56. Plus 1 is 57, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, so G composite, composite G at 2 is equal to 57. Again, let me box it up. Okay, okay um, we can also compute a function in general where you, instead of using a particular uh, value, you can use just um, a general x. So let me show you. What if I want to com uh, com compose f? Compose G, compose G of X. So same pattern. This is the same thing as saying F of G of X. So what is G of X? 
what is g of x? Well, g of x is x squared plus x plus 1, right? So g of x is x squared plus x plus 1. So let me, let me write that out. x squared plus x plus 1. That's your g of x, right? And once I have g of x, I'm going to compute this big blob into an f function. So whenever I see an x in f, I'm going to replace with this big blob right here, x squared plus x plus 1 into f. So f is 3x minus 2. f is 3x minus 2 right here. So that means it's equal to 3 times that blob minus 2. And that blob, it will be x squared plus x plus 1. So it's a little bit messy. Um, all you have to remember is keep track of your, um, your, your variable. Right? And now I'm going to distribute that. So this becomes 3x squared plus 3x plus 3 minus 2, or 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. Okay. And that is f comp composed with g of x. How about um, we try the other way around? We did F composed with G. Now we do G composed with F of X. Okay. So this is the same thing as G of F of X. And what is F of X? Well, F of X is 3x minus 2, right? This is your f of x, that's 3x minus 2. Maybe I'll keep consistent with my color. So it's 3x minus 2. So g of 3x minus 2. Mm -hmm. So what this means is whenever I go back up to my function g right here, Whenever I see an x in my function g, I'm going to replace it with 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2. So function g is x squared plus x plus 1. And now the x now is become, is the new x will be 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2, which is equal to, if you FOIA 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2, I have 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. Okay. And then plus this right here, which is 3x minus 2, and then plus 1. Let me double check. 3x squared is 9x squared minus 4 times 3 is 12x plus 4. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is equal to 9x squared this and this like term. So that's become 12x. Oh, um, no, negative 12x plus 3x is negative 9x. And then we have this, this, and this. Those are constants. 4 minus 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So plus 3. Okay. So here is the result of G composed with F of X. G compose with F of X. As you can see, the two are in the same, right? So you have to be careful when you um, compose in function. 